Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everyone for all the feedback that people have been giving as we've been discussing some of the YouTube guidelines and how strict they seem to be with tarot reading, reading in particular. I do appreciate that. Some people have asked how can they help to support readers and let YouTube know that we like tarot. I'll tell you what, the quickest way to do it, hit the like button. Even if the reading, even if you watch it, you go, hey, this isn't my reading. No problem. I'd still hit the like button because that tells YouTube we like this content. Somebody left a comment that they thought readers were no longer reading for their sign. And it's probably not that as much as their, their algorithm has changed. And so YouTube stopped offering it to them would be my guess. So anyway, if you don't mind doing it, that's probably the best way to show support. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are a general reading, so today's reading will bring in all areas of life. Mondays are different every week. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice? do you have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Capricorn need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn, please. Oh boy, did you see that? I don't get many jumping cards. That came shooting out. So we will start here with the tarot, then we'll have the angel answers. We had the two of pentacles come on out. You've got Justice, Libra Energy, the Eight of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Strength card. We have the World. Wow, this is looking pretty good. The Sun, my gosh. The King of Swords and the Six of Swords. Well, you have now here, this is interesting, there's only one other card in the entire deck that features the Infinity Symbol. That's, of course, the Magician. But that infinity symbol is very important in tarot. I feel like they're trying to tell you you're going to move on to something better. Whatever it was, if you had some kind of a setback, it just was a setup for something better. This is greatness. It's success. And it's feeling it. It's, fe it's like if you have some kind of project to finish and you're going on to a new job or you're a consultant or something like that, the next one, it's going to be like the best one. In relationships too, though, you have love here. You have engagement here as well. But I, you have a couple times with the Eight of Cups and that Six of Swords moving on to something better. So no matter what it is, it's been a bit of a rocky period. You know, when we start to see this wavy water showing up, it's high emotions. So if you've had a difficult period emotionally or it's people around you, that have had to make some changes and they've been struggling a little bit and maybe leaning on you and you're like, I don't mind to be a support, but like, how, how do I get this person back on their feet? You know, if it's one of those kinds of things, but I definitely feel like you're coming into a place here where things are going to be a lot easier. This is a card of balance. though. twos are also about partnerships. I, you definitely have a love relationship here. So if you've been single for a while, that may be coming to an end, that you have a new cycle and it sure brings in a love that is worth it. It's worth your time because if you're in a position too where you've been single and it's like you kind of don't want to make a lot of room in your life because it's pretty good the way it is, um, I feel like this is one where you'll say, yeah, I think I will make room for this one. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see what happens here. Now, if you've had a, a situation too with a partnership that maybe has gotten a little bit uh, stale. Is that the way I want to say it or disconnected? How about that? I do see you getting a reconnection here. I like this a whole lot. And then we'll get into that justice card of bringing in some balance. But with this too, because the, you know, the sun, it goes the sun judgment, then the world. But with that three of cups right in the middle, this is cause for celebration. And two, with the world, that's all about rejuvenation. And so I just feel like you have a wonderful energy showing up here. With the energy of justice, now we have here, before I go too far, we've got Leo, we've got Libra, we've got air, earth, water here. So this cause and effect energy, like I said before, this is going to be an energy too where it brings in balance. I also feel like for some of you, you may have an apology coming in. You may have somebody who owns their part in something. If, you, if that's what all that wavy water is about for you, 
I do feel like with this one, they may look at their own behavior in a situation and how they're treating people. Now, you may have it on a small scale too, like out and about when you're out at a store and or there's somebody who does something in traffic, they might surprise you and actually apologize for it. That's on the more mundane level. But I will say with the energy of justice too, it is about putting your foot down. So I mentioned earlier, if you have somebody who has been leaning on you for a great deal of support, but it's like getting to the point where it's like, ooh, this is kind of looking codependent. I don't really want to participate too much longer. Um, I do feel like they're trying to tell you there's an end coming to that so that whoever this is or if they've been staying with you or something, I feel like they're going to get on their own two feet again. Whether it's emotionally, financially, physically, whatever it is, I feel like they're going to be on the mend. Now, in terms of relationships, you do have that deepening connection. So even if it's a new relationship, we didn't really touch on that. It is This is a new cycle that comes in and it brings depth. Now, if you're in something and you don't see depth showing up, you may move on to something else. Okay, if it's like a very new relationship that you go, I don't know if this is really going to run deep. We're just not we're just not meant to be in that direction. That I feel like you have something coming in that brings it. Now I mentioned before those of you that have been disconnected a bit in a long-term relationship, I feel like you will reconnect. You'll get into this place of the 8 of cups that search for deeper meaning. So some of you too, I just heard it's a quest you may be on a quest to understand your partner better, understand their needs in a relationship better, but also that is going to be reciprocal with the energy of justice. It's not just one-sided. So the Three of Cups, this energy of harmony, celebration, engagement for some, anything new that you start, any new partnerships are going to go great with this one. It's harmonious energy. So if you are, if you're a teacher or something and you're getting back into school, I feel like you're going to hit a three of cups stride sooner than later. We're going to go, God, I've got pretty good classes. I think this is going to be a good year. It's this. Or you say, I'm just glad to be back into the routine of things. Or even if you're not a teacher, but you have kids going back to school, I feel like this three of cups represents that too. Um, but overall, you know, the reunion, right? With the schedule and we go, oh my God, we've been, they've been sleeping in until one and getting up and eating candy for breakfast. Ah, you know, that sort of thing. I do feel like it's going to help you to feel, I heard somebody say it helps me feel human again to have a schedule. It really is making me laugh, whoever this is. Um, I see somebody rather disheveled, almost like sitting in a, a minivan with Skittles under their seat. Like, okay, enough is enough here. Um, so I do feel like this is going to, if it's a schedule too, and if you've even um, <clears throat> retired early, but it's driving you nuts, I just feel like somebody got out of a schedule and you need to get back into it is what they're trying to say. Well, we talked a little bit about strength, but this is truly a time of success and it's overcoming whatever that energy was. If it felt restless, this, I got this restless kind of feeling. But like we were talking about too, it's a reconnection. It's a reconnection too. If you do have, if you have raised a family, it may also be about getting your own life back that you've devoted a lot to others around you. And you're like, what do I want to do? What does Capricorn want to do? And so I do feel like with this energy of strength, it's like inflates your life again. If it felt a bit deflated or if it was like we were talking about a relationship that got a bit off, Here's where it's all back on. Now, in new relationships, though, you have somebody who really does want to go deep, especially with this kind of energy. Someone who is going to be sensitive about your time, understanding, wanting to hear you out, too. Like, what kinds of things do you want to do? I feel like they may ask a lot of really good questions, but with the world, there's nothing better. I mean, this is celebration, too. Um, but anything you, you complete with the world feels amazing. It is the completion and the beginning of a remarkable new energy. So with the energy of the world, it's perfection, really. But it's also telling you, bask in this moment. Enjoy every single second of this. You are worth it. And so I do feel like, too, in a relationship, if it's a new relationship, it, it gets off great. I don't get that energy of like, oh, God, we're already hitting sticking points. Absolutely not. With this, you're in flow. It's easy. So if you have a new job, too. With the energy of the sun, you attract all the right people, places, situations. This is victory. So if you are completing something with the wreath of victory and the banner of victory, they keep trying to tell you 
any projects you're doing, see it through to the end because it's going to be victorious. So if you've had a turn of events that was somewhat challenging, you're rising again here. You are rising to the occasion. And like I said, you've got this these wavy rays in the sun. They indicate vibration. That's high vibrational stuff. They're saying, look, you're rising up here. And so the King of Swords does bring in mental clarity. Um, it's also a position of power, though. So I feel like, too, even though it's air energy, it, it, it may be representative of you. And even letting go a little bit of what other people might think of you. So if you have been in a situation where you got to give somebody a push to get back on their own, the only thing I would be careful with is he can be very blunt. So you might want to be a little cautious with him. Um, because interestingly enough, even though you have all kinds of balanced energy, he can be a little unbalanced, like more his way. It's going to be my way kind of energy. So again, you may find you have somebody trusted that you can talk to. You have it here too. If you do need to set a boundary with somebody, you've got somebody here that I feel like would be good to kind of a neutral party to talk to about it. Somebody who gives some guidance, but overall you've got support. You've got your ships are coming in here a couple of different times. Now, if this, in terms of relationships, too, it's saying it's moving forward and you're moving forward together. So if you are planning a trip, too, that's a card of travel. You have it there as well. All right, let's see here. A trip together is what I was getting at there. You meet somebody and they start talking about going places with you. That's not just talk. Okay, that's somebody who's actually going to see it through. So I guess be careful. You know, you say, oh my God, I didn't know they were that impulsive. They booked tickets to Paris. Anyway. <laughs> All right. What else does Capricorn? It might be kind of exciting though. I don't know. All right. Advice for Capricorn. If you believe, so ask, believe, receive, know it's yours. Forgiveness. So if you do have an apology coming your way or somebody that has loafed around a bit in life and you're trying to kick them in the hiney a little bit this too is like forgiving their own humanness there's still a soul in there your soul's not mad at their soul so you may have recovery in a relationship if there's somebody that seemed like they were taking advantage of your good nature even if it's your work too when you go god good and give and give to these people all right you've got perfect timing so i feel like if you have to have an important conversation you have the right timing they do say choose a new direction so there may be something important about talking with others. And I'd also say too, in terms of love, opening up to that energy of love, good things are on the way for you, Capricorn. I love you and I'll be back again soon.